Okay, it's uh, Eric here. Do more do you at uh, Instagram. I have just arrived here at St. Francis State Park, which is probably closer to Bonterre, Missouri than it is anything. It's a little bit after 3 o'clock in the afternoon on, I think it's the uh, December 29th. I had planned on doing the uh, swimming deer trail but it gets dark at like five and I really don't think I allowed myself enough time to, uh, to do the trail and to do everything I want to do on the trail. You know, video and uh, photography and whatnot and kind of just sit around and actually enjoy my hike. So um, I'm parked in the campground which I just did a little quick drive around through the uh, primitive and the electric. I'm parked here at the electric. Jet flying around. Um, and I'm not supposed to park here, but there's nobody here. I mean, it's there's just one person in the entire campground, which actually would be a fantastic camp tonight. I would, if I would have brought everything with me, I would probably just stay. I have my tent in there and everything, and hell, I could just sleep in my truck. But anyhow, um, I think I'm gonna, there's a little, there's a, I guess, um, cut in on the swimming deer trail right down here which goes down by the uh, by the big river um, I think I'm gonna try to uh, hike down there a little bit real quick and uh, get down to the river and uh, take advantage of that I mean you can see that it's actually uh, it's a pretty beautiful day it's kind of chilly out you know 35 degrees I think it said um, not too bad though good day for a hike uh, so um, I guess I better hurry up and do that before it uh, before it gets dark on me. I'll uh, check back in in a minute. All right, on trail now. Um, I forgot to mention um, this little cut in where I'm taking it right now. Um, when I was oh, I'm gonna say 12 years old. Around that age, I was pretty young. Um, my family used to come here and uh, camp a lot just on the weekends because it's just down the road, basically, um, where we lived at when I was a child. And you're not supposed to take your bikes down this trail, but you know, as a kid in the in the summertime when the campground's full and there's kids going around everywhere, but uh, I took my bike down this trail and. I seen my first black bear uh, ever in the wild. Um, nobody believed me. Uh, I, I came running out of the trail and uh, it was nowhere to where it was going to uh, hurt me or anything. It was, uh, I'll show you a little farther up, but there's uh, cliffs over here to the left. Uh, Bigger than that, where uh, I'm going to show you where it was at. But uh, I was riding my bike and I looked over to my left, and uh, this black bear was literally climbing up the side of the cliff. Uh, you know, like I said, I, I I got I got the hell out of there quick. Uh, it was no no danger from for me or whatever how to say that. But uh, anyways, I thought it was a pretty cool experience, and I could run it out and. Uh, told you know my mom and dad and everybody at the campground and and everybody and uh nobody believed me uh but i seen it and everybody's like you sure it wasn't a big dog and i'm like yeah i'm sure it's a thousand a big dog i know what a dog looks like uh, but anyways yeah that was my first uh ever black bear experience and shit that was 25 years ago now or or, or so uh Black bears are becoming a little bit more common uh, in Missouri and the surrounding area. But, you know, like I said, this is yeah, an hour south of St. Louis, um, going down 67. And um, since then, I've had other uh, black bear experiences. My uh, old house um, had a log cabin, um, five acres in the middle of the woods. Um, I had a black bear there for two days or so and just kind of hung out in the backyard and uh ate corn um 
then it was gone. It was on its way. Um, so that was seven years ago, I'm going to say. Um, let's see. Um, neighbors across the lake in my old house, they had a black bear experience. I didn't get to see it, but um, it was there. Um, I think that's... I don't know. I think that's about it for around here. Obviously, I've seen them down in uh, down in Tennessee, North Carolina. Um, you know, obviously it's the wild, but there's so many where it almost doesn't feel like they're wild because they're just they're just everywhere. They're, they're like squirrels <laughs> here. Well, you go around a corner and there's a bear, and there's it's cubs, and you go around the next corner and there's a bear. Uh, you go on, you're walking down a trail, and they're like people are passing by and saying, "Hey, there's a bear down there." So it's, uh, that's pretty cool to see them, you know, there too. I mean, it's, it's, it's still a bear experience, but it's not like seeing one in, in Missouri where they're pretty damn rare. Um, anyways, that's my, uh, my, uh, bear story. All right, somewhere along here is where I seen that bear. He said it was 25 years ago, so I can't be for certain where the hell I seen it, but it was climbing up a cliff. Along here, there is a little cavern, little cave right there. That'd be cool as shit if something came out of that right now. But, uh, this is a pretty, pretty well, you know, populated area. I can't see anything, you know, hibernating in there. Uh, there's a little trail going up there too. But anyways, like I was saying, there's, this is, somewhere along here is where it was climbing up. For a bear, it was probably nothing just to jump on up there, but um, right there is a cliff and right here is a trail. You know, so, I don't know, I guess it was fairly close, but I'm not worried about black bears in general anyhow. But yeah, it was going the other way, not paying a bit of attention to me anyways. This is not going to be a, uh, a long video by any means. It's not going to be a long hike for me. Like I said, uh, I started pretty damn late. But uh, I felt like I needed to get out. I've been feeling kind of like a uh, fat ass lately. I went from hiking, you know, a few times a week to uh, not doing crap lately. Sitting around the, uh, sitting on the couch and watching TV and trying to edit some videos and do crap like that but um this isn't too far from the house and it's a hike i've done several times and uh if you've watched any of my other videos i feel like i'm a broken record at this point saying saying that um i don't know if i'm going to uh end this right here or, or not as far as me talking on the video but i'm probably gonna hike down just a little bit farther as you can probably see in the background, I don't have a whole lot of light left. Um, but, uh, I just, like I said, I just wanted to get out and shoot a little video and get a little hike, get outside for a little bit. Uh, I wish I would I wish I had been camping down here. Um, there's a, uh, a blood moon, the full moon in January. Uh, I think I'm going to try to get out and, and backpack someplace for that. Um, I got a couple options for that. That'd be great. Uh, Bell Mountain. Um, I've got a video on YouTube on Bell Mountain, which didn't uh, quite pan out the way I wanted it to. Um, 
it was pretty crappy weather. Uh, I woke up to fall fog and not being able to see 10 feet of the damn cliff. But uh, if it's a clear sky and a uh, full moon, blood moon in January, the uh, I think that would be pretty incredible looking over Bell Mountain to see that. Um, anyway, I'm going to plan on that, but who knows? Um be yeah, pretty awesome if there was some uh, some snow. I think that'd be pretty fun. <clears throat> Clear skies are going to be have to, have to be a must. If there's if I don't feel like there can be clear skies, I don't think I'm even going to try to do it because uh, it was a pretty rough hike to to at the end not be able to see anything. But that's my plan for uh, for January. Um, you know, the campgrounds this time of year are pretty dead. I was thinking this is uh, Saturday before um, New Year's Eve, which is uh, New Year's Eve is Monday and New Year's Day is, you know, Tuesday, obviously. But uh, I told my son I'd like to, uh, I, I don't I don't go out and party and, and drink and, and do the whole thing anymore. Um, just, I don't know, kind of grown out of that stage and a lot going on where it just doesn't even, I don't even feel like it. But anyhow, um... I'm, I think I'm going to try to camp uh, either here at St. Francis or down at Washington State Park. Uh, it's going to be cold, but man, I'll have the campground to myself, and I think it'll be pretty nice and get away from all the, you know, all the all the craziness of uh, of New Year's. Um, it'd be nice just to kind of, you know, throw a steak on the grill maybe and and celebrate just me and my son out in the wild. Uh, I don't think I'll go backpacking, but I think, you know, this little car, car camping trip would would be uh, pretty awesome. Just one, it'd just be one night, but, you know, that's fine. Anyways, uh, I'm going to shut the camera off, and like I said, this might be my last intro to uh, our whatever into the camera here, but uh, I'm going to get off and take a few more pictures and uh, probably a video a little bit more of the trail and the... Uh, in the big river down there in my uh in the background if I trip backwards right now that wouldn't be good anyway uh, all right i will uh check you out later do more do you on instagram check me out there for photos of this hike and um start a blog um still don't know where i'm going with that uh i've got a little I started a story to uh, kind of my uh, life-changing vacation events that uh, led me into really being into the outdoors and, and the hiking and, and the photography in general. Uh, I started my first entry on that. Um, I've kind of gotten off subject in my, in my second entry, but I, I, I'm going to get back on track. It's kind of a... I've kind of gotten a little bit long and drawn out on the story itself. Probably way more detail than I need to. But anyways, go over there, check check out my blog and subscribe to that. That is uh, do more do you, um, dot com. Uh I've got a link to my YouTube videos there as well. Um, anyways, yeah, just check me out on all socials. Um, subscribe to my YouTube, uh, subscribe to my blog. Uh, like my video, comment, please comment, and uh, tell me where I'm going wrong, and tell me what I need to do, because I am having a hard time here um, with the editing process. I cannot do it on my damn computer. I don't know. I have a, a, a Chromebook. Chromebook? Yeah. Uh, no, I just cannot seem to do it. Cannot seem to get the editing down. Please help. Um, I would gladly... Well, video chat or the shit meets you down at a restaurant and drink a beer while we're trying to figure stuff out. I am not a computer guy whatsoever. So, um, I need some help. All right, peace. Okay, I actually forgot about something. Um, Black Marlin Sports got a hold of me on Instagram because they seen that I, I obviously get out a lot and do a lot of things. So they decided to hook me up with this uh, first aid kit to give a little review on. But, um... Got her on Prime, obviously, but um, so it obviously came fast. But at first glance, I mean, this is a pretty heavy duty um, 350 pieces, not too heavy, not too heavy at all. 
Um, there's a shit ton of stuff in there. But, I mean, appreciate you know anybody recognizing what I do on uh, on Instagram. Let's see if I can open this up real quick. Sorry about that. But anyways, though, there's a there's a ton of stuff in there from a, from a compass, a whistle, sewing kits, uh, um, bobby pins. Uh, I mean, look at all the Q-tips. I mean, they loaded this thing up. Uh, obviously, a first aid kit, something you hope you never have to use, but you know, you want you want a good one. <laughs> and this looks to be everything that you're going to need. So, shout out to Black Marlin Sports on hooking me up with this. Um, I'm going to be plugging them on Instagram and uh, giving them a good review on Amazon. I believe this kit was $17, $18. Anyways, um, if you're looking for a good rugged first aid kit, go into the backcountry. This is it. Go check them out. They have a lot of other products too. Uh, anyways. Thank you so much, Black Mullen Sports, for hooking me up with a kit.